Hi guys and gals out there in YouTube land and all you youngins and all you oldins and wise, I should say. Uh, it's again uh, another unboxing. Uh, this is part two from the part one of my Sesame Street unboxing uh, stuff that I bought uh, from, uh, oh, uh, hold on. That I bought from Janet Presley. Part one is up. You can go watch it. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put a link up here in, in the little title card or in the little card or whatever that pops out from on YouTube and you can click that and be able to see part one if you hadn't seen part one yet. Uh, and that mostly was just books. Those are all just mostly just uh, uh, books and a couple of little small items. I think uh, some cards a lunchbox, a uh, big old uh, Christmas stocking I know was in it. So, okay. Before I actually get started uh, of unboxing this, I wanted to read something. I had asked Janet, and this has been at least back in, in April. So, I mean, it's been quite a while. You know, it's, it's July, if you, if you want to know uh, whenever I'm filming, filming this. Um, but I asked her if she would write me something about her son, because um, this pretty much is all of her son's stuff. Uh, he was a, uh, um, a special needs kids and everything. So, and she uh, she couldn't get rid of it after uh, about 15, 14 years or whatever. So, uh, but. Let me go ahead and read this for you, and then we'll get uh, right down to unboxing uh, the, the second box and everything. Alright, these Sesame Street toys and books, which I've already done the book, once belonged to a very special boy named Derek. Derek was a special needs kid, or child, who loved Sesame Street, especially Big Bird. Oh, I, Big Bird's my favorite. So me and Derek would have gotten along real good. Derek could not talk or walk but he could sure smile and laugh uh, a lot. <laughs> Sesame Street brought him so much laughter and entertainment over his 17 years on this earth. Uh, same with me. Uh, Sesame Street has brought millions of laughter, but the ones that really need it are the ones that, you know, are the ones that uh, need, need to feel like they're, they're still a part of the community and not, you know, feel left out. And I understand that there's a lot of people out there that thinks that, you know, uh, there's people out there that have deformities or whatever, you know, that should, uh, that they should be left with the, you know, with those types of kids. And I'm just like, they're kids, they're people. It doesn't matter whatever they are. They're still people. They're still kids. We gotta treat them all the same. We can't treat them different. Yes, we come in different sizes, we come in different ways that we look, different ways we speak, different ways that our eyes might look, nose, mouth, ears, hair, whatever clothes that we wear, doesn't matter. We're still people, all God's people. We are still all God's people and we were created differently. God, I mean, you wouldn't want to be having thousands of you running around. It wouldn't be fun. So having people that are different uh, it's fun because you get to meet people that you would have never thought. Sorry, I'm getting, you know. His mom spent uh, all those 17 years collecting special Sesame Street pieces for him to enjoy. After Derek died, it was too hard to let his special things go. Then, this year, as in of, of, of 2021, uh, um, 14 years later, his mom felt like it was time to let some of the items go. So she posted them on Facebook, and that was where I, and a lot of other people, uh, saw them and asked to purchase some of Derek's special belongings. Now Derek's items can bring other collectors uh, and those who love Sesame Street joy, and that's how I feel. Sesame Street brings me joy. And I'm glad I'm being able to share Derek's uh, toys and books with the world. I'm, I'm loving that. 
and I'm pretty sure he's up there saying, hey, those are mine. And look, that guy's like, you know, just he, he loves Sesame Street, just like me. And everybody else that's on uh, that's in YouTube or out there in the world that loves Sesame Street. You know. I know that you know. He loves you too. Now Derek Adams can bring other collectors and those of uh, loved, you know, Sesame Street to draw. It will be like Derek's love of Sesame Street continues through others. His mom, his mom did not, or did have to keep his most special pieces. So th those pieces were never sold and were never posted. So it doesn't bother me. A mother's joy of her kids' things. There's special stuff that she has to keep, and I, I wouldn't want you know any, any mother to give up anything that brings her joy and everything and thinking of her children. So it's his pieces, but shared most of his collection with others. Hope you enjoy seeing a small portion of his big collection as Kyle has his reveal YouTube posting or opening. So. Thank you, Janet. Uh, thank you, uh, Derek. Uh, I also want to thank uh, and Robert. I wanted to thank uh, Janet, Robert, and Derek, especially Derek, for his love of Sesame Street, and for his mother and his dad, for passing on, you know, their their son's things. To bring other people joy, so I'm, I'm really happy, and I, I know Derek's happy too. I know that he's, you know, he's smiling and he's laughing. He, he's up there with Big Bird. Kind of spinny. He's up there with Big Bird, so I mean, he's getting to play along with Big Bird and Kermit and all of them up there. So, all right, I'll be posting some of uh, uh, pictures of. Uh, of, of Derek on this on this uh, video so uh, stay tuned towards the end to be able to get to see some of uh, 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 pictures of Derek and everything of his love with with his uh, Sesame Street and everything so. all right let's go ahead and get down to the unboxing of some more Sesame Street items are y'all ready let's go all right here we go all right now what have I told y'all about these do not run do not play with knives or scissors or anything that's dangerous. You never run with a knife, you never run with scissors, you never run with any sharp objects. It can hurt you. you know, so do not touch any of this just in case if there are any kids watching, knowing that I have to put an algorithm of, or put, I don't know, put the whole thing of kids, because mostly kids are watching this, but there, there are a few adults. Okay, let's go ahead and get down to it. Oh. <laughs> I don't even like that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here we go. Putting away the knife. Putting away the knife. Okie dokie. Some green bubbly stuff. Ooh, green bubbly stuff. Alright, here we go. We got, and this might be a short one, a piggy bank of Big Bird. And you put it in the actual piggy bank. He's holding the piggy bank. So he is a piggy bank. You make the bottom of it and everything. Pretty cool, isn't he? He's got, he accidentally has a green or a pin on his <laughs> marking on his nose. He can come off with some cool. Whoops, what was that? What was it done? Whoa! Well, th thank you, uh, Janet. Uh, I got 10 cents out of this. I didn't expect that. I wonder what year it is. 19, I'll have to look it up. I'll have to look, look it over for a minute. 
All right, here we go. Look at this. We got a gigantic Pez Big Bird dispenser. It looks like he sends stuff because it has a it has a little microphone back here. But oh, that's cool. It plays the theme song to Scooby Doo. I mean, to Scooby Doo. <laughs> I was looking at Scooby Doo. It plays the theme song to, to Sesame Street. Yep, that's all it does. That's cool. That's cool. Dun, 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 dun. Isn't that cool? Pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright, we got a little cup. A little big bird cup here. Derek, did you ever drink out of this? Did happen to be cool. Get you a little drink out of big bird. Get a little drink out of big bird. Alright, here is a I couldn't remember if this if this worked or not. I couldn't remember. I'd have to. Oh, it goes this way. Oh, okay. And then I guess you you put it down. Is that how it's supposed to go? I couldn't remember if it worked or not. Yeah, I think it's broke. Oh well, I mean, I, I couldn't remember, like I said, um, I know that she told me some of these wouldn't be working, but I mean, it's not like it bothers me. I'm not upset because she had told me that, so I just wanted to. Here's a little Big Bird uh, in a little cart and everything, and I, I know this one works. I think it works. I think I thought she showed me. But yeah, you put batteries in it and everything. And yeah. That one works because I've seen little videos of it. Isn't that cool? It's a big bird and a little, little buggy. Here's a big bird. I think this one doesn't work either. I don't know, it might. I would have to test it out. Maybe I'll test it out in one of the videos. There's a big bird in an egg. Look, he's in a big old egg. Big bird's in a big old egg. Isn't that cool? I'll try to show all the video. I'll try to show all of the stuff and all that uh, at the very end. Here is another piggy bank. Everything with big bird. Him in his nest with bird seed that's where you put that. And then this. I don't, I don't know if this works or not either. But it's baby. Sesame Street baby, so you got baby Ernie on one side, baby uh, Big Bird on, on the other side, baby Prairie, and then on the back is baby Elmo. Now this is another another kind that would probably need batteries, so we'll check those out and see. I can't remember, like I said, it's been a while. Alright, the last thing that's in this video is the, and this one looks really in good shape like I mean like, like it hadn't really been messed up or anything that is nice it's the Sesame Street library uh, holder of uh, the books that you could drive uh, volumes 1 through 15 and all that A through A through Z and all so and it's in really good condition. I mean, there's Big Bird on that side with the 
volume 15, or the number 15 and Y and Z. And then this side, which has A and B and number one. You have the Big Bird rocking chair, the Pez dispenser that plays the song, the little cup, the piggy bank with the piggy bank in it, the little one that walks and everything, I believe. He's in an egg. You have the little roaster, a little bumper car, the other piggy bank, the little light thingy and then the library uh, case holder. All right, that pretty much will do it for this uh, video, uh, part two of the unboxing of, uh, uh, of Derek's uh, toys that I purchased. Uh, hope you liked it, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, click that uh, subscribe button, uh, click the bell icon so you at least will know whenever new videos are posted. Comment down below if you like collecting uh, Sesame Street uh, items. Uh, odd, rare, videos, books, episodes. I mean, I, I do a, pretty much almost of everything. I collect about TV recordings of episodes and toys and books and figures and puppets and plushes. So, yeah, comment down below if you like. And, I mean, sh if you want, show your... Uh, collection if you have a you know collection of Sesame Street or any collection that you like to show me. Alright guys uh, that'll do it. Uh, Till next time it's your VHS Collector Kyle here saying uh, birds, monsters, and humans. They all are able to live together on a street. What's that street name? You got it. Sesame Street. If they can be able to uh, live together as as a normal group of people and beings then so can we we can do the same all right guys i will see y'all next time in part three of some more of derek's uh, toys and whatever else uh, obs you know odds and ends all right guys till next time oh yeah uh, remember stay tuned till the uh, end of the video to see some pictures of Derek and everything. So. Alright guys, talk to you later. Bye!